Hey folks, how are you doing? Little unusual. Gotta make a little short video here because I wanna show you something. Because my men's cave is actually turned into the bedroom from because of the visitors, my mother and her colleague. So I wanna show you something. Fixed up the that shit for the for my booby, for my Tafco booby, Gaff Taf booby, whatever. Uh, was in Walmart uh, yesterday and I was just you know browsing through the aisles and I noticed that they have this really cool it's called a rock pattern or what is it stone the textured finish spray and I figured you know once I saw it here I said that might be really cool spray spray coat for the kayak sheet and especially for the one with the grind lines and everything so I gave it a chance picked it up sprayed it yesterday and uh, it actually came out really sweet. Check it out. I like it. I don't know what you think, but I do like it. It gave it that rust, kind of like a rustic, worn out look, no stone. It still has those kind of like a craters, but now it's like all uniform, kind of. I really like it. And one more thing, what I did, I actually grabbed, I have also a black flat finish, like a spray. And when I did this coat, I just like, from distance, just like gave it little hints of like black, you see it here. Because the the whole main coat was even with that with that uh, textured finish, so I just like little hints of black here here. I might do more, but I need to like practice. So it's like really just like little hints. I'm not I'm not some kind of spray artist or something. So if I spray it, it just makes it like black big mark. But I want to do like little hints. I need to find some technique how to do it. But I like it this way. I think it's pretty cool. It's something unusual. This is the rust oleum, I think. So I don't know, I hope it's gonna be nice and not rigid rigid, but kinda of like elastic. Because the kydex works a little bit. No, it moves. When you when you're dangling it around, when you're taking and removing and putting the knife in, it, it flexes. So I, I hope that once this dry completely, like really cures, I hope it's not too fragile so it won't chip. Plus the texture of the kydex should actually help it. So we'll see. Only test. Like like with almost everything what I do. It's all like, you know, try and fail, try and succeed, nothing nothing else, it's never really like something. It's always a try. Uh, get new toy. This is a to tool that I've been tempted with for quite a while, I wasn't sure which one to pick up, if to pick up the original one, the Woodsman's Pal, or, uh, or this Gerber. I actually went with the Gerber at the end, because in the end of, it's always, it's pretty much the same, the handle is different but I knew that I will be reprofiling it anyway because even the original one has really steep you know kinda that cheap tool bevel but it's a lot more expensive tool but this is that uh, Gerber I think calls it Garber uh, Gator Machete Pro but this is like that Woodsman PAL tool it's like a machete with bigger hand uh, head on the front to get more weight up front and also with this hook for like grasses this hook is not sharpened at all this has you know something what they would call the edge. I'm used to this already that uh, I always need to work on the edge. First of all, because they are almost all the time are burned on some small levels, some more than others. And uh, main thing, the be the the angle, the grind is just too thick on the, on my for machete. You get a lot more performance from a thinner grind and it's still plenty strong. So I know I will be reprofiling this. And I get a sh uh, what I wanted to show you actually mainly so I was really impressed with the shit. Now this is thirty dollar, yeah, thirty dollar tool. Thirty, I think thirty two. And it's very complicated uh, shape, no. And I really like how they did it. You have this rivet in the middle of the front, and what it does, you hook that front hook behind it and just flick it in. And once you put this in, they actually have two straps. It's like a double double strap in one, and that strap goes over this guard in the in the centerpiece. So this actually is very good, very secure. I don't know about durability. It's nylon, but it's actually very nice shit for this. And I didn't expect that. I because mostly the the sheets, the nylon sheets for this cheap stuff, really sucks. But this one is actually like pretty neat, I do like it, and even on the belt, it's actually very comfortable and very convenient to use this shit, so I was very impressed, I gotta say. Gotta give that to Gerber, I don't know about the steel, we'll see how it will hold up, but uh, so far it looks actually decent, like it looks like a useful tool, and I was very tempted with this, I cannot wait to test this, because it looks like such a nice utility tool for a lot of stuff outdoors around the house and stuff like that, you know, if you, if you live out there, processing a little bit of wood, cleaning some brushes, mainly cleaning. I think it's gonna be an excellent, excellent tool. Digging, you know, all that stuff. You can dig with this fairly nice. You have this flat, 
front unsharpened thing that will you know dig without actually worrying about damaging the edge so that looks pretty neat and uh, it actually came even with the sharp little sharpening stone that definitely gets the job done out in the field especially with this cheap steel you can definitely touch up that edge with it, it has like a little pouch here on the sheet itself so kind of kind of pleasantly surprised with this so far I mean the edge I never really it's always too soon but uh, we'll see with the edge I was very happy with the with the steel how the steel held up on my the Bear Grylls parang yeah cheesy Bear Grylls but trust me it's a good working tool and uh, oh, I have to reprofile it now because I got the replacement after the recall but the first one I got I was very happy with it that's it and one more update got the shipment today from Alpha Knife Supply next steel next patch of knives will be yep Elmax got a lot of it had to invest a lot but I wanted to do something a little higher end now on the next but it's not a lot but it's definitely a nice amount I, I plan to do two large three larger blades yeah I have three 18 inch pieces 18 inches the size of you know size of the billet that the, for example this this buoy is made for from uh, it's thinner it's a 316 thick so it's gonna be it should be they should be really nice working tools like not the crazy heavy choppers not the crazy thin machetes like right in the middle should be pretty sweet no it's uh, 316 doesn't sound like much but it's actually nice decent decent thickness it's about what four four five mil thick and I got a couple smaller pieces two 12 inch pieces one like 10 inch and then two eight I think for the smaller stuff but really looking forward to it because the one blade that I did in Elmax before in the past it was excellent it was definitely one of the best steels that I've tested myself you know like the all those the cut tests what I did I pretty much do the same thing every time with all the different steels that I use and test and the Elmax really blew everything else out of the water I'm curious now about the uh, CPM S125V but uh, until now the Elmax was with the big big lead the best definitely and one more thing little heads up uh, Alpha Knife Supplies have really good deal in my opinion for uh, Micarta uh, they sell that 8 by 12 that which is a big big sheet of uh, green Micarta quarter inch stick for I think $23 and black canvas for I think 17 or $18 I think 18 which is really good price you get a lot of knives done that's for the Micarta fans because it's a good deal it's very cheap and uh, I think it's very cheap. You, you do you do a many. You can do many knives from that thing. So just a little heads up. Maybe some somebody is looking for to get a cheap Micarta because I do like it. I, I picked up a big shade of both of them. So I hope you enjoyed it, guys. Thank you for watching. Hopefully I'll be back in track soon. Uh, the visitors. My mother is leaving for the next adventure tomorrow. So I'm gonna spend more time with her now. Have some fun and uh, back to work Sunday night. So. Thanks guys, take care, enjoy the weekend and, and don't cut yourself. <laughs>